Hello friends and welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin and I post videos mainly about eating disorder recovery and intuitive eating. I'm doing this intro super late in the vlog so you might recognize this outfit from another clip later on. But this vlog is just full of a bunch of random little stuff. I went dress shopping for a wedding. I went out to a restaurant with friends. I went to get my nails done and to like several other restaurants. I showed you a little bit of a haul and some beauty products. So yeah, if you like things like that and just a random content and days of content, then yeah, welcome and I hope you enjoy. Hey, currently at the bay and I'm looking at some dresses right now and I rarely vlog in public so I'm sure I'll get some looks but there's this dress here which I think is super pretty so I think I'm going to try it on whether it's for the wedding or just to have at home but it's very pretty and they have lots of options over here so let's see what we can find So I have a bunch of different dresses over here and a couple of swimsuits. So I'm going to show you what everything looks like in this little mirror over here. We'll just do a little bit of a montage and maybe I'll talk, I'm not sure because there's so many dresses that I have to try on. So we're gonna try to make it quick. So this first one doesn't even fit and it has like a very weird slit. I do love the sparkle top, but this one is going to be a no. This one makes me feel like a can of sardines and it also is quite uncomfortable. It's like this itchy lace material so this is also going to be a no. So this red one that I didn't try on is the exact same as this yellow but I just tried this on and I actually really like it. It has this little belt in the front. It has a bunch of browns and blues and when you look close at the dress as well there's a bunch of shimmer which is pretty pretty. I think I might get this either just for a summer dress or to at least have one option for the wedding. So this one does not fit, but I do love this color. But I do think that this dress is such a good find. I know not everybody loves patterned dresses, but this one is just, it's so pretty. I don't know what I was thinking. Nope. All right, so this, I really love the pattern and the fits, but this top part is extremely big on me and I don't have time or the patience to take anything in. So unfortunately, this is a no. There's a couple dresses that I didn't show you mainly because they didn't fit, but I think that this one is a winner at least to have as like a backup option. Sorry if you hear that fan in the background, but yeah, I'm gonna grab this one and maybe go to another store. So I really liked the one piece that I tried on, this pattern one, but it's $200. So unfortunately, it's going back, which makes me so sad because it's honestly one of the like most comfortable and beautiful one pieces I've ever seen, but it's not worth $200. So I'm gonna try Airy and some other bathing suit places. And like, if I can't find anything, maybe I'll come back, but not worth it. So I found another bathing suit. I don't love it as much as the other one, but this one is like $25. I'm in winners right now. I'm wearing my underwear, don't worry. But it is this olive green with this ruching on the front with these gold little buttons. It's cute and I'm gonna get it because my swimsuit is deteriorating, but I do have a couple more to try on and I'll show you everything that I get when we get home. So you might hear some ASMR of the dogs eating their food in the background, but you gotta eat, you know? Um, I received a PR package from a brand called Parade, and I just wanted to show you everything that I got before I go over some of my, my shopping finds. But this is the first bralette. It's like this tri-colored bralette, and it's so summery. I love it so much. It honestly kind of feels like swimwear material, so 
I don't know, maybe I'll try it at the beach when I go next weekend. And then I also got this red bralette. It's such a beautiful color. And I'll try them on at some point in this video or I'll show you over on Instagram what they look like. Look at him, he's so interested because I got him a bunch of bones. Let me show you what I got the dogs as well. So I'm a dog mom who goes really hard when it comes to the treats. I like to always be prepared. I got them two of these big bones. And I got a bunch of their bully sticks. And then the last thing that I got are a couple packages of their favorite like frozen beef rips. So these are just for special occasions. I don't get them every day, but someone's very interested. I think I'll, I'll give them these. So let's, let's do that together. Okay, let me cut these open. Okay, I think everyone on the vlog thinks you guys are good boys. Okay, somebody thinks you're not a good boy. Sounds like a them problem, man. There you go. Okay, go in. Good boy. Hardy, sit. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Go, 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 go. I don't know if they like these bones, so we're gonna have to see. You seem to like yours. Good boy. He good boy. And my other little baby. This is his blanket, but we use it too. Are you gonna lick your bone in the sun? Yeah. He's such a good boy. Good boy. Here you go. So I came upstairs to my bathroom. First things first, I'm going to try on these bralettes to show you what they look like. And then I'll just show you everything that I ended up picking up from the mall today. I ended up getting two bathing suits, the dress I showed you, a bathing suit cover up, and then two pairs of shoes. So both of these bralettes are in the size extra large. And I do also have a coupon code for a parade. I'm gonna leave it down below, but it's just heal with Kaylin. And it's quite a generous coupon code. It's like 20% off, so very cool. Let me try this on first. I love how this bralette looks, how it feels. It is so incredibly soft and comfortable. And this is probably one of like the most true to size pieces that I've ever tried on before. Usually I find when I put on an extra large, it fits so nicely, but sometimes like right here it digs in. So this is super cute. Obviously it doesn't go with these pants, but this with like some jeans and like a little white blazer or something, so fucking pretty. So let's move on to the next bralette. I literally think I'm going to go use my own coupon code to pick up more of these because holy hell, they're so comfortable. And yes, this is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to show you them. They just sent them to me and they are Gorgina. Oh my god. Look at those tan lines. Holy hell. Beautiful. So cute. So I picked up that green bathing suit that I show you in the changing room, but I also picked up another one. And it is this checkered blue and white number. It is so comfy. It has a very low back and like this little tie slash knot over here. And I think it's really damn cute. Like it makes me feel just comfy and cozy. Does it show the tummy? Yes, because I have a tummy. It's gonna show no matter what I wear, okay? And it's beautiful and it's wonderful and it's okay. I didn't get a chance to try on this beach cover in the store because I saw it last minute. So I'm hoping that I like it. <laughs> and I do like it. It's super basic, but it's also really comfy and it will provide some additional sort of um, protection from the sun when I'm just not feeling it. Honestly, I'm not sure I would have gotten it if I tried it on, but I'm still glad to have some kind of cover. And then we have this beautiful dress, the one that hopefully I'm going to wear to the wedding. The camera doesn't even do this color justice, but it is so nice. I love the V in the front, the little rope. It is a full length dress, and I just feel like it's very, wedding me so i love it my hair is so frizzy because it's so humid and it's just so cute um next up i needed some basic white sneakers because i didn't have any so i have some of these adida like chunky white sneakers this is what they look like i find them so cute just to wear with like ripped jeans and a little crop top or something like that. And I love that they have a little chunky platform at the bottom, but yes, picked up a pair of these bad boys. Okay, and the last thing that I got from the mall, which is another pair of shoes. I got these specifically for the wedding. I had um, the woman who worked there, she was so nice. Her name was Samantha. Like she was literally the sweetest person ever. Um, she helped me with these. I can't walk in heels practice doesn't do it like i can't walk in heels um but she helped me like pick out these wedges 
And at first I thought they were like a little bit gaudy. I was like, mm, I don't know if I like them, but I put them on and they're so comfortable and they do go with the dress because they're gold and there's like some gold detail in the dress. But these are the shoes that I got. They're from Browns and I love the little weaved like heel over here. And this has some pearl detailing on the side and I think I'm going to wear pearls to the wedding. So that works out really nicely. And I'm very much like a comfort over look gal anyway. And these were just so comfortable. Perfect to like dance all night, to be on your feet, to run around. You know, it's so fun at a wedding to just, you know, be a part of the crowd and have so much fun. Um, so I picked up these as well. And I'm really, really happy with the purchase. And I think, yeah, like I think that this goes so well together. And I don't have to worry about makeup or hair because I'm getting that done at the wedding because my, my brother and sister-in-law are getting married. And like, I'm going to get ready with the rest of the bridal party and my mother-in-law. So yeah, I'm just really happy with everything that I got today. I also got some new products from Sephora a while ago So let me show you those because I don't think I have I thought I was filming and now Apparently my camera was off and I was talking for so long. So I don't even know what I filmed I picked up some things from Sephora a little while ago and I figured I would show you everything that I got The first thing is some retinol and this is the Kiehl's retinol from Sephora And this one also has peptides and I used the sample size and I used it all up. It was so amazing I loved it so much and my skin reacted really really well to it because I have quite sensitive skin So I picked up the full-size version I also picked up the Jizu honey infused scalp treatment and my hair and I have some difficulties I got some dryness, especially on like the front of my head over here. And this is like a leave-in treatment that you can do twice a week. I guess you can do it every night if you want. It's not a hair oil and you don't put this on your hair when it's wet. Like you literally just on your scalp. And then the next day it will relieve any sort of like flakiness, itchiness, and it smells really nice. I'm kind of debating getting the hair oil from Jizu as well, like the honey one. But it's really expensive and so I'm probably going to get... A cheaper one and then I have these tiny little samples for some makeup products as well I have the Ilia mascara from Sephora and I'm gonna be honest I don't really like it I would not repurchase I don't find it helps with volume or length I find that it makes your lashes look quite fluffy and quite natural which could be nice and I think like is a nice look if you're going for like a no makeup look but I think that there are much better mascaras than this one. And then there are also two lip oils. The first one is from Item Beauty. And it is in the shade Lip Quip. And I love it. It smells nice. It glides on really nicely. And this color is super, super subtle. Like it's like just a tiny little bit of peach. But this lip oil I like even more. And it's by Merit. And it is in the shade Slick. And it's a tinted lip oil. And this is probably a better close-up of the lip oil, but it's like this orangey red. And I find it just, it looks incredible. It's super natural and subtle. And it also just gives the lips a little bit of hydration. And then another sample that I got is this Say, like, Luminizer. Luminizer. <laughs> highlighter. But it's like, it's not a highlighter. I feel like it's more of like an all-over glow cream thing because it's not categorized as a highlighter it's categorized as a glowy super gel in the shade star glow this is really really pretty it's so nice on the cheeks it could be nice too like on your chest or the top parts of your shoulder if you're wearing like a halter top or something but i also really like this i don't know if i got anything else i thought i did but i can't remember what i could have gotten oh yes i forgot i knew that i forgot something and this is my favorite thing that I've gotten recently. I needed a new cleanser because I finished my Yours cleanser. And I also had like an inky list cleanser that helps remove makeup. So I still have that one. But I got the Tatcha Rice Wash Cleanser. I find that this smells like Fruit Loops, it, but like not artificial. It smells so good. <laughs> and honestly, the tiniest bit of product goes such a long way. It's a cream cleanser and it feels so good on my face. I love it so much. I can't see myself ever buying another cleanser, but like I don't wanna I don't wanna speak too soon. Amazing. That's my uh capitalism haul for today. Definitely bought a lot of stuff. I mean, the Sephora stuff is from a little while ago, but I wanted to share with you and show you. But I'm going to put everything away and tidy up my, my bathroom and I'll either talk to you later tonight or tomorrow, depending on how I'm feeling. Hello friends, it's another day and I'm about to go out to dinner with a couple of friends and I figured I would just bring you 
It's basically going to be another little voiceover montage, that kind of stuff. We're going to one of our favorite Italian restaurants. So we're gonna get some pizza. This is the fit right now. These jeans are from Old Navy. This top is from Airy. And my jewelry, as always, is from Ana Luisa. I'm really excited, so let's go to the pizza restaurant right now. Also, I'm really feeling my makeup today. It's cute, right? Today is my first time getting to wear my new shoes as well. So I'm going to put them on. Hopefully they don't hurt my feet. Like I don't have to break them in too much. Oh my God, oh my goodness. Does anyone else have one foot that's bigger than their other foot? Because I do. I never wear sneakers, so it's hard for me to tell if these look silly or not, but they're super comfy. Anyway, off we go to eat some delicious pizza. In an Uber to the airport, terminal three, a couple carry-on bags, please don't wait these. What do you do? A little do me, me, me and my brother, we flying down for the weekend. We got an Airbnb by the beach, have you been there? Couldn't hit a party if you speak French. We, we, well, are we gonna be friends? And so party book cars, we're looking to recruit for the party crew. The name's JJ, co-star is Bruce, then we love a little green like Molly do. Yeah, got a feeling it's season, you and me can jump in, see you in the deep end. But I guess it really depends if you're down for the weekend. I'm just waiting for. Hello, friends. I'm going to my friend's house, and she lives in the city because I live not in the city. <laughs> um, and we're going to get our nails done today, and we're also going to get pedicures and go out to dinner. So I figured I'd try to get a little bit of footage. I know that this vlog is super all over the place, and it just has footage from random points of time in the past couple of weeks. But I'm hoping you're liking the vibe and that it's just a little bit of everything. Let me show you my outfit for the day. Nobody can tell me that this isn't a cute fit, okay? These ripped jeans are from my friend's thrifting business. Her business is called Refashioned by Lakin. I'm going to leave her Instagram down below. And this top I just got, it is from American Eagle. They're having so many sales right now because it's end of summer. And I think that this top was $4. And I think the most expensive top that I got from them was around $8. When I come back um, from my friend in the city, so tomorrow I'm going to show you some of the new tops that I got. This might be TMI, but I also got new underwear and they're so cute and they're silky uncomfortable. And I'm not sure if the underwear is still gonna be on sale, but at Airy it was 10 by 10 pairs for $42, which is a great deal for underpants, underpants. I never call them underpants. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, this is the fit and I'm very excited to, to go and see her. Sit by the window and start to debate. There's nobody else. I'd oh my god, do you wanna try it? That is so good. Yeah. I think it's sweet. She sometimes winks when she laughs. I like the way she dances barefoot in the grass. Yeah, we get along all right. I know. Oh, good boy and good girl. Are we gonna go downstairs? So my friend and I got back from dinner and we're actually gonna go out for some drinks and maybe some snacks, who knows? But I did change my outfit. This white top is one of the other tops that I got from American Eagle for like $6. And something that I really love about it is the back because it's backless, so that's just a really cute addition. I think I'm gonna take one of these jewelry pieces off though. I'm not really vibing with this chain. So I think I'm gonna take it off. And I think I'm just going to keep the same makeup that I was wearing before. And I also changed my jeans. I'm getting really frustrated with jeans uh, these days. I feel like none of them just, none of them fit right. But this is the look. I feel like it's sporty but cute at the same time. So cute. Haley and I ended up going to the old port for some drinks and it, we had such a good time. There were so many of these little kiosks that were set up that sold all sorts of things. There was art, there were dresses, jewelry, there was a popcorn rest, well, restaurant, popcorn place. They just had so many little fun things. And these were the small joys that I used to miss out on all of the time. I used to say no to going out for drinks. I used to say no to going out to the mall with my friends just because I had so much anxiety 
anxiety and so much worry about drinks and calories and food and about whether or not we would be sitting all of the time and all of the things like that. And now I just get to enjoy time with my friends, time with myself, and I just get to enjoy my time on this earth, not obsessing about food and numbers and those things that just drove me absolutely up the wall. This is a sign to put yourself first. Hello everybody, I just got back home and I figured I would show you some of the shirts that I mentioned I'd show you before. I had so much fun, my friend Haley is so so sweet and so kind. And yeah, we just had a good time. I don't think I ended up getting any footage of like the drinks that we went to, but we went to like a club in Montreal, but like a sit down club and it was fun, but there's a lot of creepy guys. There's a lot of creepy dudes in Montreal, so FYI. Anyway, this is the top that I wore today to the mall slash out for lunch. The only thing is like where your boobs should be, this line over here. I have to continue to pull it down because I'm like a larger breasted gal. So it's not the most perfect shirt, but I really like it. So this next shirt, again, my boobs are too big for it. It is a little crop and I'm just going to wear this as like a loungy crop with pants or like sweatpants around the house. So like I'm not really going anywhere with it. It is cute and it was only like $3.97. So it's like a little bit flimsy and not like the cutest. I don't know if I can make this work as an outfit like outside of itself. And by the way, these are like all of the pairs of underwear that I got and some of them are so soft and just so freaking silky. And they ended up only being like around $3 a piece because they're on sale at Airy. I hope they're still on sale when you see this video. And this top that I'm wearing right now, I got the exact same top in this lilac purple color and the same kind of vibe as before. Like I'm probably gonna wear this mainly for lounging out. Like I don't know if this is cute or appropriate to wear out and appropriate, like, I mean practical, not appropriate. You can wear whatever the fuck you want, but I feel like if I lift my arm, my boob's gonna fall out. So anyway, this looks more white on camera, but maybe if I focus it, it is like a lilac purple. This is the next top and I don't like it as much as I thought I would. It's an off the shoulder top that has like a tiny little ruche here. And I just, I don't know if this is cute. Is this cute? I like the color, but like, I'm not sure about the design and if I like that. So for this one here, I do think it's really cute. It gives like a really nice tropical vibe. I like how it cinches in over here. I do find that these straps just look a little bit weird though. Like I feel like they'd look better if they were thicker, but they are adjustable. So maybe if I adjust them and if the shirt is more like here, if I tighten it a little bit, I think that that's gonna look cuter, right? I think that that looks cuter. What do you guys think? This, this, I don't even know. And then this is the last top that I got. And I, I think it's really ugly. I think it's the color because it looked a lot more brown on their website. And I feel like if this was a darker brown, I might like it a bit more. But the armpits are super long, which I mean is kind of nice because this kind of material like shows sweat a lot. I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely not a stand out top. That's, that's all I'll say. But those are the tops that I got and I find them super, super cute. And I also have, of course, the underwear. But yeah, anyway, that's everything for now. That is the haul. All right, eight, two, one, let's go. Good, bend one leg and straighten the other. Good, exhale, straighten the other. Good, exhale, straighten the other. So I just got back from a walk with the dogs and I also feel like I never gave you a close up of my nails, but I got blue on my hands and my toes, but I just made a delicious mango strawberry banana smoothie and I'm gonna have this for breakfast today. And I figured to end this vlog, we would just do a little cheeky what I eat in a day. Today's a super busy day, so I might not show you all of my snacks, but I'll show you all of my main meals. So. Yeah, I think it's a great way to finish the vlog. It is super windy outside, so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear me, but I wanted to show you my outdoor garden, and I guess if you can't hear me, then you're not gonna see these clips. 
The wind is crazy and we don't have a lot of plants right now, but I do have a basil plant. Look at her. These plants our neighbors gave us, they're so kind. I don't really know the names of any of them, but over here we have a tomato plant. We have so many tomatoes growing everywhere. They're growing pretty wild. Some of them haven't been doing great, but these ones are looking good. And I swear it's like hide and seek. You can just find a bunch of tomatoes all the time. Oh my goodness. You can probably hear Tabasco squeaking his freaking toy. He does that all the time. Don't worry, not to the point where like he annoys neighbors or anything like that. Also, you know how I said this would be a what I eat in a day? Well, I am I lied. So what I'm gonna do before anyone gets up in my gears because I know how much you love those videos. Tomorrow I'm going to start a new vlog with a what I eat in a day or I'm just going to film a what I eat in a day in isolation. So that's gonna come super soon. Maybe we'll make a recipe with bananas because those bananas are going bad. My day was so busy today. I had back-to-back -back clients um, and I just finished right now. I finished work and it's 5 p.m. And I did have lunch, but Andrew brought it to me. So I didn't really have my camera with me. So I just wolfed it down. And so what we're gonna do to end this vlog is we're going to end with a grocery haul because I love grocery hauls. They're one of my favorite things to watch. We'll do a little bit of shopping together. I'll show you the haul when we get back. And that will be the end of this vlog. So I'm at the grocery store right now and this is everything that I've gotten. Some chicken brochettes and some salmon, plus some of these croutons. I didn't realize they're organic, but that's okay. And some veg, but I'll do the whole haul when I get home. I still haven't gotten over the fact that when I vlog in public, people just stare at me, but I'm just going to make the assumption that they don't know what a vlogger is. I've also been trying to find corn nuts for the longest time and I have had no luck. So if anybody's from Montreal and you like corn nuts as well, please let me know where to find them. This is the section that I always look in, but no luck. Also, guess what I found? Corn nuts, and it was the last bag too. They were cleared out, so I'm so happy. I'm trying to choose which cookies to get right now. Maybe these white chocolate ones, but I haven't decided. Hello friends, we just got back from the grocery store and I'm very hungry and very tired. So let me show you everything that we got. Andrew also picked up a couple of things, but I'll show you everything. And by picking up a couple of things, I mean he went to a different grocery store. Uh, we obviously share everything that we buy here, food-wise. So for dinner tonight, Andrew's informed me that we were gonna have some rotisserie chicken with Caesar salad and bread. It's watermelon season, which means I eat half a watermelon a day. I can't stop, I won't stop, I don't have to stop. This is my favorite thing ever, my favorite fruit. Beautiful, when it's heavy, round, got the big yellow spot, you know you've got a good one. Some fresh Parmesan, croutons for the Caesar salad for today. I also found these Southwest tortilla strips, tortilla flavor strip, whatever, for salads. They sound incredible. I think I like Southwest. It's not really popular over here um, compared to the States, and so I'm pretty sure I like it. We'll try, we'll try. Some salmon, if you saw my last What I Eat in a Day video, I'm obsessed with the salmon recipe that I make in the air fryer. Some cooking cream, a bunch of different chocolate chips because I love baking cookies for people and for myself. <laughs> Those freaking corn nuts, I finally found them. This is called toasted corn, so I'm not 100% sure that it's the same thing, but this is what the toasted corn looks like. If this tastes like what I'm picturing in my mind and like the corn nuts I've had before, I'm on cloud nine. I love it. Some grilled artichokes because I'm going to be making my famous spinach dip for Andrew's friends. Some homemade noodles because Andrew's friends are coming over tomorrow and he's making them a pasta dinner. Some romaine lettuce. I love these Perrier juices. They're so good and tasty. The one that I have right now at home is peach cherry, but I only have one left, so I picked up a strawberry kiwi one. I love this. Not the flavored Perrier. It's like not Perrier with lemon. It has to be the juice kind because it's so good. Some creamy coleslaw because I'm a creamy coleslaw kind of gal. Some sour cream. This week I wanna make a leek and potato soup because I'm obsessed. I know it's summertime, but you can't help when you've got a craving. You gotta make leek and potato soup. So, oh, they smell so fragrant and beautiful. Andrew's favorite oatmeal ever is the peaches and cream oatmeal, so I picked up two boxes for him. Anytime I go to the grocery store, I almost always pick up a jar of sauce just for like an emergency meal, tortilla pizza, pasta, mini naan bread, whatever you've got, it's, it's so easy. My favorite chocolate soy milk, so I can make more of that smoothie that I always make, the banana chocolate peanut butter one. Mm. The counter over there was getting filled, so I'm moving over here. 
big bag of potato chips. I love this as a nighttime snack, watching the Vampire Diaries, putting my feet up, having some chips. It's, it's wonderful, it's okay. I saw that Ben & Jerry's had a new ice cream flavor. At least this is new for me, so I picked it up and it is the Mint Chocolate Chance ice cream. I'm a mint girl, it's so good. Well, I don't know if it's good. I'm hoping that it's going to be good. I'm somebody who has chocolate in my house at all times. Um, and so I needed to restock because I think we had like no more chocolate at all. So we got some Cadbury chocolate, some peanut butter chocolate, and this, the best, my childhood favorite. I love this and I've been craving it for a while and I saw that they finally had it. So I took it and it's home with me and I'll have it whenever I crave it. Some macaroni noodles for macaroni and cheese. Maple syrup because we were out. Some pure vanilla extract. And I just got some like granola bars that I saw that they had in like the single granola bar section. I love these nut butter cliff bars. And then my friend Miranda really likes these builder bars. So I figured I would try it. And if I don't like it, then I learned that I don't like it and I just don't buy it again. Some of these chocolate cookies. Pre-made guacamole because I really like it. And speaking of guacamole, I've seen these at the grocery store for a really long time and I just never thought to pick them up. But these are guacamole flavored tortilla chips. Should we try one? Yeah, we should. We should. They don't really smell like guacamole, but they are super green. Wow. It very, very, very subtly tastes like guacamole. Like super, super subtle, but I really like it. Grapes, it is mango season right now and it's oh, I'm so glad it's here. I can eat both of these in one day, but I doubt they'll be ripe on the same day, but they're so good. A tomato, some broccoli, avocado and garlic, some cucumber and some nectarines. And believe it or not, there's still one bag to go through. So sit your pretty butt back down and just stick with me until the end. And as I mentioned, Andrew's making dinner for his friends. So we got some pancetta, like some fresh, I don't know, pancetta <laughs> to, to cook and put in the pasta. I got some spaghetti noodles just to have at home. And then for some dinners, I picked up these pre-marinated chicken kebabs, which are just, they've been a lifesaver. They're so easy and they taste pretty damn good. And so I just got two different flavors. It doesn't really say what flavors they are, but they just have like different marinades. I'm not picky though, so I'm sure I'll like it. Milk. And then the last thing that I got are two things of Laughing Cow Cheese because this just reminds me of my childhood. And also when I was babysitting kids, they always had these and I would have them with crackers, pretzels, whatever. I got the garlic and herb cheese, which is my favorite, I think and then the original, but that's everything that we got. But that's going to be it for the vlog today. If you like videos like this or vlogs like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that thumbs up if you'd like. Don't be afraid to leave a kind comment down below because we are all a community over here and so happy to hear from you always. Make sure to do something kind for yourself today, okay? Okay, bye friends.